So guys, we are back with Mass Effect 2. Let's uh, dump some points in this. So right now we're rocking with three soldiers. Um, honestly, I'm only putting a point in disruptor ammo just so I get access to incendiary. Incendiary is honestly the best, in my opinion. So let's go get Archangel. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? Oh, this is great. You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Yeah, let's learn about the Merc Band Assault. Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Yeah, that's really the best way to destroy a crime syndicate is you just keep fucking with their money. Eventually, if they lose a shit ton of money, they're gonna lose their men. How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. <laughs> what do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? I like that. Besides, what are the odds he can kill you all? Come on. Ah, uh, we don't really Where do need we go? the rest of the show. Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Not my problem. You're a funeral, buddy. If you're sure, registration's in here. Good luck. You'll need it. Perfect. Thanks. That kid is gonna get fucking killed, dude. Anybody here seen my kid? So, last episode, we were talking a lot about, like, gangs and stuff like that, and it seems like we're kind of re-picking up that topic. I really like the idea... Come on, let me in. I really like the idea of a dystopia like this. Like it looks awful. I think rolling with three uh, soldiers is maybe not a good idea, but eh, let's test it out and see what happens. I'm bringing Grunt because if we bring Grunt, we have to kill one less Vorcho, which is fucking nice. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. I love this map too, it shows you how like deep we're going into Omega, like how big Omega is, it's fucking huge. Take you, take you, ah, there we go, yep, looks good to me. Maybe try out the collector assault rifle. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, let's try this rifle out. 
shotgun. Hmm. I think this is a one-shot shotgun where literally you just pull the trigger once and then that's it. I kind of like the Gath Plasma shotgun because it's explosive. We're staying with the Mantis. Staying with that. Good, good. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. All these Batarians, dude. Jesus. You bet. I'm ready to go. Are you with you? <laughs> I'm on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on. Oh my god, what an idiot. Uh-huh. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangels killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be huh. easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's worry about finding him first. Wait. Zaid here is just a philosopher with his words man he's just a true artist i really love the mercenary armor the blue suns and the clips have like the best armor paint Shepard, i've, I've seen area, but i'm unable to plot any other paths to archangel guess we're going with the mercs the heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower weakening them before leaving will improve your chances so to weaken them, there's only like a few things you can do. One is sabotage the gunship, which doesn't really do too much. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I've spoken to Garm and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. I don't expect much. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Do you need something? I like this guy's um, paint. I mean, not paint, but his skin color. It's red. You, you don't see eclipse. red uh, Solarius. You figure that out by yourself. I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Oh boy. Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. <laughs> He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Well, that's pretty interesting. I'll get going. Good idea. Make it oh, quick. We could ask him about, about Archangel. Angel. His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter. I'll get going. Good idea. Yeah, the only mercenary leader who knows anything about him is uh, the Blood Pack, which is most interesting.
got it. Oof, I'm fucking amazing. There we go. As I said, it's pretty easy to do the hacking in this game. Refined element zero, fuck yeah, and of course it's only 500. This is one of the ways that you can uh, fuck with their defenses before you leave. There we go. Now the machine's gonna attack its own allies. That should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. Exactly. Alright, here we go. So this Vorcha here, right here, is like a semi-boss. He's actually pretty tanky. But because we brought Grunt, it's going to open up some interesting dialogue where Garm here pretty much wipes his ass out. Well, wipes his face out. Uh, I don't know. You'll, you'll see. There's nothing else for us to activate. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. Why are you following this human, young one? Why not? He's the strongest warrior I've seen. You should be learning from your own kind. He's a valuable part of my crew. What else does he need to know? How to live and die without fear. Here we go. There goes his head. How to put that fear in the hearts of your enemies. Shepard does that and more. If you say so. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. Yeah, Krogan. It seems like Krogan, once they're done with their young stage where they feel like they need a fight to prove themselves, it seems like they really just want to relax and just make easy money and not have to do anything. They're kind of lazy, I guess you could say. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> He's a Turian which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. So yeah, now we don't have to fight Garm's uh, assistant there. I forgot the name of the board show. We go this way. We already did that. Show the bank account. I've seen it all. Six thousand credits. God damn. I guess extorting people is worth a lot of money. Yeah, hacking is super fucking easy. We can use this. Nice. Nice. This is the blue sun area. What do you want, freelancer? Go report to Kafka. Don't want excuses? Yeah. Stop gonna get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints! 
Dude, this guy is pissed. Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. What's your problem? <laughs> you. Get, get this scum out of my face. Dude, he Tarek, is pissed. What's seen in your ass? Zaid. Wait, what? I didn't know there was a conversation between these two. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong with Good his head? you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? God damn. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. I'm surprised Aid uh, has an option to talk to these people, considering that he pretty much hates this fucking group. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We yep. better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Damn it. Carbs blood pack better wait for my signal. Not now, human. As they say, you know, shit always rolls downhill. And in this case, Watch out. shit really rolls downhill. We piss off uh, Tarek, and now his assistant's gonna get all the shit. Kafka? God, their armor is Mass Effect 1 armor and it looks so bad. I'm so glad my armor is better. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Nope. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Oh god, there's a kid. Now he's got an assault rifle, what the fuck? Who he steal that from? Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Yeah, no you're not. You're working too hard. <laughs> That is so fucking painful. Holy shit. How does no one hear that? Archangel's in trouble. What the hell are we waiting for? Yep, there goes the kid. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. It's time to fight! Get him! This gun is uh, interesting. Uh, I should say that much. It's got a lot of ammo for it though, which is. Good job.
So yeah, this thing's got a lot of ammo. It's just it doesn't do a lot of damage per shot, which I could see being an issue. There we go. Archangel. And next shot. Shepard. I thought you were dead. What are you doing here? Good to see you too. I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? <laughs> it's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, just Garrus to you. Yep. Your nail be good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And, the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Hell yeah. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. guns here. Come 
This is a massacre, dude. <laughs> If you want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Oh, this works for us. Oh, yeah. Go! Online! Damn it. Sending out the heavy max. That problem should be... I just need ammo, holy shit. Yeah. This next part here is going to suck dick. Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. Pick up all the ammo, please. This ammo respawns, so we're just going to keep picking up the same ammo over and over again. The reason being is that as a soldier, we're going to kind of run through our ammo really fucking quickly. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. If um, Garrus took any damage, he wouldn't be saying that. He would be saying that, you know, we need to fight better and shit like that. What were you after? 
He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? There. Now it's getting fun. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. We'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Gears. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Now, something to me that's a bit of a uh, immersion breaking on this mission is that we could have asked the blood pack and stuff like that. We could have asked them, like, hey, what's the plan of attack? And even though you know the this order that they're going to attack in, Shepard doesn't seem to know when he talks to Garrus. He's like, oh, I don't know. What are the enemies doing? Oh, I don't know. And it's like, what the fuck? That, that's kind of immersion breaking. Like, dude, you, you literally talked to the leaders of the mercenaries before you helped Garrus. Like, you should know what, what they're going to do. But it's just me nitpicking. I kind of want to stay with the Matic, but it's got like little to no fucking ammo. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. Jesus, Karis, your voice got deep. This part, I might die in. Yeah, this mission sucks dick, dude. Oh my god. Oof. This is why I like the Gath shotgun. Impact shot. Oh shit, damn. This is also why I wanted to learn the melee button, because we're going to be fucking using it. The Varen. I thought the Varen died because Grunt shot it with a shotgun, but I guess not. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like the new um, Krogan tactic now when it comes to the Krogan. Is that they will just simply. Uh, They will simply use a lot of lesser species like the Vulture as a impact shot. There we go, got that bastard. Got him. Get him, Grunt.
Fuck, where the fuck is he going? Garrus is kind of taking some damage, so we're just going to have to get there as quick as we can, but we got to also be careful. This is why this part of the mission sucks. This part sucks so much dick. There's going to be an enemy probably waiting for us beyond this door. I think it's fine, Shepard. It's time to get those damn shutters open. Close. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. It's pretty it interesting, is that, um... The Vulture uh, are essentially like Don't sentient guys. Burn and die! Yeah. Worthless. Yeah. The fuck is hitting me? There we go. Oh, Glue's gonna be pinned down. Man, that sucks, Garrus. Let me just reload, reload, reload. Good. Switch guns. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. Still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortress showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on it. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're all loading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. <laughs> I'll put them down! Yeah, 
just got no attack. Here's a real question. Do we resurrect him or not? God, I can't wait till we get more done and I can research. Get to cover. I was so lucky it staggered his ass and we just started unloading him. Ooh, yeah. I know I was gonna do that much damage to it. Holy fuck. <laughs> We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. It sounds like Garrus is like choking on his blood, which is a very, very bad thing to have happen to you. Well, I mean, psh, PhD degree here, choking on blood, very, very bad thing to happen to you. That's uh, that's my medical advice. That's my medical expertise right there kicking in. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Typical guy jargon. Just, God, Garrus is so lovable in Mass Effect 2. I love him. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? See, he talks about the side quests. The Collectors are wiping out human colonies, Garrus. Nobody else cares enough to stop it. I can't argue with that. Hard to believe the Council is letting the attacks go unanswered, though. Damn politicians. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. So yeah, those uh, side quests that we did back in Mass Effect 1 where we discovered like a bunch of sick human experiments. Yeah, that, that's the experiments uh, Garrus is talking about. So let's talk to the crew and then um, I think we'll end the episode here. I'm more interested in if just... If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. 
You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Damn. Anything that could affect the ship or the mission is my business. I need to know you two won't be a problem. Now you sound like Cerberus. It's not an issue. It was a long time ago. That's the end of it. I think that's enough talking. I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too. How does it sound like Cerberus, dude? Literally, any fucking job you work, if you ever had any sort of, like, relation with anybody, they immediately cut your asses apart and say, nope, you two can't be together. Even if you're not together and it's a healthy end Hadley, to the relationship. about Ferris Fields? Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. Seems like a crew we'll member's family back. just got Shepherd yoinked. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I yep. assume everything is going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Oh, That's it for own. now. See you, Commander. Ooh, codex entry. So it's not so laggy anymore, and that's because they kind of toned down the graphical settings by adding film grain. Because apparently film grain Commander, really changes shit. And I terminal. fucking forgot. God damn it. Report tells us you're operating the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look at the situation on Loric, a nearby planet in the Futhar system. Scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Marks are holding our operative, blah blah blah. Okay, cool. This is a, one of those missions where we can choose how this works. We can choose to either say fuck you Cerberus and give it to someone else. Or we could just give it back to Cerberus and be like, here you go dude, keep your secrets. You dirty, dirty slut. Keep your damn secrets. Personally me, I always give their, their dirty slutty secrets out to everybody because uh, Cerberus is just terrible people and they kind of get whatever comes to them. Commander, what can you I have do? a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. That's good. I'll Didn't let you want to talk to Of you course, anyways. Commander. Miranda, Jesus. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields. Didn't Hadley have a brother? Station? I do like the crew banter and how they talk to each other. They're basically like showing that they do have a life, that they do talk about day to day shit. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Damn. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. It sounds like Garrus kind of like had a moment of, um euphoria where he just felt like he was untouchable and that he was like some god amongst men honestly when you get him talking about how he began he really does sound that way like he's like really egotistic but then once his whole squad dies then all of a sudden he like 
kind of gets humble. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. That's a bigger squad than us. Shit. Sure. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Damn. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Yeah. Now let's talk to Grunt and then we can get the fuck out of here and go back to uh, Omega and recruit Morden Solus because Morden is a very interesting individual. Oh shit, that's right. After we recruit Morden Solus, I think it'll trigger the next part of the game. Because this game is divided up into like three acts and each act increases um, the collector stuff and increases our map. It also gives us more people to recruit, like Tali and shit. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's pretty interesting, though, that he says that Corians are tougher than humans. Because um, you wouldn't think that they're tougher, considering that they die whenever you cough at them. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. Okir is kind of crazy. When he turned maybe. on the tank the first time. I screamed. Weak, pitiful. You are the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that, or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest, but maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think, but I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. Yeah, essentially that's it. Like, when you talk to somebody, usually the weak moments of theirs is good moments for them to look back and say, wow, look how far I've come. Grunt doesn't understand this, so we're slowly teaching him that. Wait, this is surveillance on the whole goddamn Normandy. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. 
Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. God damn. All this shit he has. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Damn. Oh, we just watched. I was sitting here thinking it was gonna do something, but nope. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Hmm. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Yeah, it's pretty interesting is that, um... All these members of the Normandy are selected for a large Destroy. amount of reasons. Collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit. Like, it's no coincidence that all these crew members here hate Cerberus. Like, that's intentional, because the elusive man's smart as far as manipulation goes. But besides that, this has been Free 700. I'm out. I'm going to save here. I'm going to record some more, but this will be the end of this particular episode. Besides that, see you guys next time.